Now, I know you've probably seen videos about GPU mining Carlson already, but hold on. I promise watching this one is still going to be worth it. Because of course I'm going to go through all the regular topics I cover in these guides, like what the coin project is actually all about in simple terms, how to set up a wallet for it, how to mine it in both Windows and Hive OS, where to exchange or sell your mined coins, and so on. But I'm also going to go over a few extra topics in this video, including why this coin is a big deal for GPU miners, even if you're not going to mine it at all, as well as how you as a GPU miner can take advantage of this Carlson mining hype. So a big thank you to the Hero Miners Carlson mining pool for making this guide possible by sponsoring this video. And now let's get right into it after a quick announcement from me. So I think it's fair to say that GPU mining is just straight up back and properly profitable again with most decent GPUs making close to a dollar or more in revenue every day. And to celebrate this, I've brought back the most popular design in my merch store for a limited period and it is this one, the skull biting the GPU and if you're new, with my merch designs I try to make it something that just straight up looks cool even if you weren't even into mining at all. And with this design it's kind of inspired by like 80s metal band t-shirts and you can also get it on hoodies, coffee cups or stickers. So check that out at gpuheadswithaz.com, it's a great way to support the channel here and also get something awesome in return. So yeah, gpuheadswithaz.com, link is down in the video description as well. And now let's learn about Carlson. So what's the deal with Carlson mining? Well, Carlson is a brand new GPU mining focused coin that came out of nowhere and has been super profitable. And even though profitability has calmed down a bit since the first week or so, this is still a great and important news for GPU miners and here's why. So of course GPU mining used to be very profitable until Ethereum switched away from mining to staking. And at that point over a million people were mining Ethereum and Ethereum was also paying out roughly 19 million dollars to miners every day. Now a significant portion of that was of course going to Ethereum ASIC miners, but there's also no denying that many of those millions were going to GPU miners. So that means that if we want GPU mining to be as profitable again as it was back then for that many people, we need the current GPU mineable coins to pay out that same daily amount of money to miners. And while this recent coin price increase we've seen pretty much across all mineable coins, as well as all the new GPU mineable coins that have popped up in this past year has brought a lot more money into the GPU mining ecosystem, nothing has really had as big of an impact as Carlson. And that is because pretty much right out of the gate, Carlson was paying out over a million dollars to GPU miners every single day. And while Sure, that's not exactly the 19 million Ethereum was paying out, and Carlson daily emissions has dropped since those insane first few days. But getting such a large cash injection into GPU mining means a lot more people can turn on their rigs and mine profitably again. But here's the real great news. I actually track the total daily emissions from all the GPU mineable coins and right now we are getting pretty close to the same amount paid to GPU miners daily as we were four years ago before the big GPU mining boom in 2021. So that means if you, like me, were kicking yourself in 2021 for not having mined in like 2019 to save up a bunch of coins to sell at the high coin prices in 2021, well if history repeats itself, we are kind of in the exact same conditions right now as we were in 2019. So like I said, Carlson is a new coin and this is usually the part of the video where I put all my disclaimers about the risks of mining new coins and the precautions to take. However, I'm actually also going to share how you can circumvent these risks when mining Carlson if you want. But basically, here's what you want to be aware of when mining new coins. To start, while mining and holding new coins can be attractive to a lot of people because the coin price could increase by astronomical amounts, there is also a risk that the coin price could go all the way down to zero, which means you lose all of your mining earnings. Obviously, when coins are brand new, there is no track record proving them to be legit, so we can't know for sure until much later in the future if our project was actually on the up and up, or just a quick pump and dump, or even just a straight up scam. There can of course also be other risks involved too, 
For example, there is always a risk that the actual coin project itself could be nefarious. An example of this that we've seen before is where the wallet app for a new coin is just a disguised piece of malware. So while you think you're installing the official wallet app of a new coin, you're actually installing a computer virus that will for example, go in and steal all the crypto from all the other wallets you have installed on your network. Now, I'm not saying any of this is the case for Carlson, just that they are general risks to be aware of when mining new coins. And I simply want to always make sure I put that in every video where I talk about mining newer coins. But as I said, you can also very easily get around these two main risks when mining Carlson. And here's how. Starting with the risk of the wallet app being malware. Well, not only does Carlson as of recently offer a web wallet, which means you don't have to download or install anything on your computer, but also if you don't believe in the Carlson project or don't want to risk the coin price going down while holding the coin, you can mine directly to an exchange and just swap your coins for something you have more faith in, like Bitcoin as an example. Or if you'd rather, I guess you could even just straight up cash out your calls and mining payouts to dollars or euros or whatever fiat currency you want. Now, mining directly to an exchange is usually not recommended, but as long as you make sure you only get a payout once a day or so from the mining pool, you're usually fine. Now I'm gonna go through more on what a pool is and how to change the payout threshold a bit later in this video, as well as what exchanges you can use to swap or sell your mined Carlson coins. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about what the Carlson coin project actually is, and it's going to be a very short segment this time because Carlson is just an exact copy of Caspa, aka a fork of Caspa, but with the mining algorithm changed from K heavy hash to a new algorithm called Carlson hash. And this is done in an effort to make the coin ASIC resistant, meaning in practical terms that it's only supposed to be mined on GPUs. So Carlson is just Caspa without ASICs. And the Caspa project is also pretty easy to explain as its main focus is to just be a coin with extremely fast transactions and a very big capacity for how many transactions can be sent at the same time. So what is the purpose of making this Carlson fork of Caspa to begin with? Well, there is a fair point to be made for why a coin should be ASIC resistant and only support GPU mining. So if you're unfamiliar, ASIC miners are basically purpose-built machines that can only mine one specific coin or algorithm. And these machines are astronomically more powerful than GPUs, but of course, as opposed to GPUs that can mine almost anything, the ASIC can only mine that one specific coin or algorithm. And the reason for not wanting ASICs built for your coin project is that it can hurt decentralization, which in very simple and practical terms means that the more different people around the world are mining a coin, the more secure the blockchain for that coin is. And with GPU mining, well, Basically, anyone with a somewhat decent PC can mine your coin, meaning the potential for decentralization is fantastic. But with ASIC mining, the landscape is sadly that most ASICs are bought and run by massive mining farms, which means the network and blockchain for ASIC mineable coins are more or less controlled by these farms, which obviously is a bad thing for the security of that coin project. All right, so that is that. My explanation of what the Carlson coin project is and also the main reason for why it was created in the first place. So what do you need to mine KLS? Well, as mentioned, the Carlson blockchain uses the Carlson hash algorithm, which is a GPU mining focused algorithm. So you'd need either a computer with a decent GPU or a dedicated GPU mining rig. On top of that, you also need a Carlson wallet, a mining pool and a mining software. Starting with the computer, if you're wanting to get started in GPU mining by building your first rig, I have a short video playlist going over all the best GPUs for mining, both in terms of value for money and power efficiency. I'll link that down in the video description. Down there you'll also find some of my recommended GPUs and mining rig parts listed if you don't care to watch those videos and just want to get the parts right away. Now to get optimal mining performance you'll need to overclock and undervolt your GPUs. And to do that you can either just copy some overclock settings from websites like hashrate.no, which will give you decent results, definitely better than just running your GPUs on stock settings, which I definitely don't recommend doing. But the best option is always to tweak your overclock settings yourself. And luckily, 
I have full video guides on how to do this for both Nvidia and AMD GPUs. I'll link those down in the video description as well. All right, so next is the Carlson wallet, which you can think of as your Carlson bank account. The easiest wallet to get here is probably their web wallet that I mentioned earlier. To find it, just go to the official Carlson website, scroll down and click on wallet. Once you're there, just click on create new wallet, choose your password, write down and save your seed phrase somewhere safe, then answer the seed phrase questions correctly and hit done. You are now logged in to your Carlson web wallet. Your wallet address is visible right here and you can click on the copy icon here to copy it. Make sure you save this somewhere too because we're going to need it in just a little bit. Finally, if you want to send your mined Carlson to a different address or an exchange in order to swap or sell your mined coins, click on send, then just fill in the amount you want to send and the address you want to send it to. You can also add a note and a priority fee if you want your transaction to be prioritized. If you're sending it to an exchange, you should be able to find your receiving address on the exchange's website after you log in there. And to see what exchanges you can currently trade or sell KLS on, just look the coin up on CoinGecko and scroll down to the markets section to see the main trading pairs or click see all trading pairs to see them all. And as I always say, of course, I can't vouch for any of these exchanges and you'll have to do your own research on if you're comfortable using them or not. Next, we need a mining pool. And for those of you who might be new, a mining pool is basically just a place where you get together with a bunch of other miners for the coins and split the mining rewards equally based on the hash rate each person has. The reason for doing this is to take the luck factor out of mining so that everyone gets paid fairly. Of course, we're going to go with hero miners for our pool not only because they are a long-term trusted mining pool with support for loads of different coins, but also because they made this guide possible by sponsoring this video. You can find their Carlsen mining pool at carlsen.herominers.com. Finally, we need a mining software, and we're going to use LolMiner as it supports both Nvidia and AMD GPUs for Carlsen mining. So let's see how to download and set that up in Windows, and then we'll move over to HiveOS. To download LolMiner in Windows, you just need to come to their official GitHub page, click on releases, and download the latest version of the miner by right-clicking on the Windows zip file and choosing save file as. Now, it is important that you save this file in a folder where you have made an exclusion inside of Windows Defender and any eventual antivirus software you might have. And you might also have to disable the safety features in your web browser to be able to download the file as well. This is because mining software is often falsely flagged as malware, since a lot of malware also features mining software in it. Making these exclusions are of course done at your own risk, so just keep that in mind. After the zip file is downloaded, just unzip it and then right click on basically any of the bat files and hit edit. To fill this bat file out, the easiest way is to just open up carlson.herominers.com and click on start in the menu at the top. And all we have to do then is just scroll down and click on the lolminer tab here. We can then just copy what's in this box here and paste that into our bat file. Then we just need to paste in our wallet address that we copied from the web wallet earlier and fill in a name for our mining rig. I'll just go with Seb's rig one here. Finally, you just need to save that file double click on it to run it and that's it you should now be up and mining kls if you're bumping into any issues at this point you probably just need to restart your computer and as for overclocking in windows you can just set your oc settings in either radeon software for amd gpus or msi off the burner for nvidia gpus that's for sure the easiest way if you're just looking to mine a bit on the side with your gaming pc or something along those lines however if you're wanting to mine on a full dedicated gpu mining rig you can instead add your oc settings using commands directly inside the bat file that we just made which usually does add a little bit of stability to your mining rig but that said, if you've got a full dedicated GPU mining rig, you're probably using HiveOS anyway. So let's have a look at that next. And setting up Carlson mining is of course even easier in HiveOS. To start, if you have AMD GPUs, just add the overclock settings to your GPUs inside the worker dashboard like normal. But for Nvidia GPUs, there is a slight advantage to putting your overclock settings inside the miner config in your flight sheet. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to that step in just a minute. But for now, just go to your flight sheets and create a new flight sheet. 
select KLS as the coin, hit add wallet and fill in your wallet address that we copied from earlier. And then in the pool section, select hero miners as the pool and pick the server that is closest to you to get the fastest possible connection. Then in the miner field, pick lol miner. If you have Nvidia GPUs and want to add your overclock settings in the miner config, just hit setup miner config and in the extra parameters box here, this is how you add your core clock, core offset, memory clock, memory offset and power limit. If you have multiple GPUs and want to give them different OC settings, you separate each GPU with a comma like I'm doing here. After this, you just name your flight sheet and that's it. You can now apply this flight sheet to your GPU mining rig and start mining Carlson to your wallet. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that you can actually dual and even triple mine Carlson on your GPUs, meaning you can mine Carlson together with other coins to increase your mining profits. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a guide on that as well. Finally, to track our mining earnings, we just need to come back to carlson.herominers.com and make sure you're on the home tab in the top menu. Then you scroll down and paste your wallet address in the field labeled your stats and payment history and then hit look up. You'll then be presented with all your mining statistics and you should be able to see all your mining rigs, your earnings and payouts. And if you're wondering how often you're gonna get paid, well, Hero Miners have recently upgraded their Carlson payout system and are now paying out your mining rewards every single hour as long as you've mined at least 10 KLS in that hour. If not, it of course just rolls over to the next hour until you've reached the minimum payout threshold of 10 KLS and then you'll get your payout. And by the way, Hero Miners also covers the transaction fees for all of your payouts, so you're getting your payouts completely fee free with them. Now, if you don't want to be paid every single hour, you can click on the settings button in the top menu and here you can change your minimum payout threshold if you want. This is a good way to make sure your payments are less frequent for example, you might want to do this if you're mining directly to an exchange wallet. Please subscribe for more mining videos and over here on the screen I'll put a playlist with all those videos about the best GPU to get for mining as well as my video on how to properly overclock AMD GPUs. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.